Uh, Hi, Miss Cleo. Cleo. Hi, Cleo. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, Miss Cleo would be called. How many times have they teased you with that name? So many times. How many, <laughs> how many, times, oh how, many, how many times did you slap someone? Not literally, though. You know, it'd be great if, if she said. You know, it'd be great if she said, "This is Cleo, and I'm just calling to give you your fortune." <laughs> You guys Squeeze. suck. Squeeze. <laughs> you will be off the air by next week. You guys suck. <laughs> All right, Cleo, what's going on? Okay, I recently received my permanent resident card, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it doesn't have my marriage name on it. Um, would it be a possible? Would it be a problem traveling with it like that? No, I don't think so. What is your passport in? What name is your passport in? It's in my my maiden and my marriage name. Okay, so just. Travel with the green card, your passport, uh -huh. and travel with your uh -huh. marriage certificate just to show the two different names. I think it should be fine. Oh, okay, sure. Right. Thank okay, you. You're very welcome. Once again, 1 800 529 5465. That was Miss Cleo from Long Island, New York. Let's go to another call here at 1 800 529 5465. That's 1 800 529 5465. Do you know what has remained steady for the last 10 minutes? Shares. <laughs> Nobody is take going to that little arrow underneath my picture right now and sharing it to your timeline so that your friends and family can see this too. Please do that for us now. One and and by the way, you can also call one eight hundred Law Link. Yeah, said that. all right. Mm -hmm. You did say both of that. Yeah, I don't know, but I, for some reason when I say it, I feel maybe somebody will actually do it and share. No, no, okay. <laughs> Paulette. Paulette. Yes, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paulette. Good, good afternoon, Paulette. Yes. I'm from Jamaica. You are? Okay. Yes. Do you know who also is from Jamaica? Pardon me? Do you know who also is from Jamaica? No. Squeeze is from oh, Jamaica. Oh, good. But, That's good. Yes. Did you know that? No. You did not know that. You know what I did not no. know? What? I did not know that there was a town called Millington. I did not know there was a town called Millington, New Jersey either. Where yes. is Millington, yes. New Jersey? Must be in the south. <laughs> it's from the South Pole. Okay. Yeah. What's going on, Millington? Anyway, What's Paul, going on, Millington? Yes. Yeah. Well, right. 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 We're confusing her. Okay. My question yes. is, I would like to get legalized here. Mm -hmm. Do I have to get married to be legalized? No, I mean, getting married in a bona fide marriage is a very good way to do it. Yeah. Um, you know, but but getting legalized, there are other ways too. I will tell you one way not to do it is is business marriages, marriages of convenience. I'm even seeing today and in the last couple of weeks, people actually getting arrested mm -hmm. and being accused okay. of marriage fraud. Actual jail. So, you know, what, what your question is, is how do I get a green card? And the best thing to do is make a consultation with us, okay? Yes. Hold on one second. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? I am fine, thanks. Good. I have a question here. It's somebody that I know. And um, he was um, found guilty, um, controlled substance. Um, I think it's a... Um, felony um drc something like that it's over 31 years and um he has not renewed his green card because he's afraid and he, he has not gone in for it i say. would not renew your green um, card. i would be afraid also if i had a felony I he needs a, he in. needs a consultation because you're not in. sure what happened with the case he needs a, if you have a criminal record you should not be renewing your green card you should not be filing your citizenship you should not be traveling you should not well, be going to spar and bernstein, you should be to and bernstein. Right. hold on one second let's go to tamika 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 how you doing oh problems with the phones again let's go try isaac isaac Problem. yes I'm isaac here. how hey, are you what's up isaac yes fine yes fine i do have a question um uh, my question is, um, you know, um, if you have, um, if you got charged for something, you know, uh, criminal charges, and then they, and then they got it dismissed, would that prevent you from, especially if you never had any type of record, would that prevent you from becoming a U.S. citizen? Perhaps because case, you still have to prove good moral character. So just because you don't have a conviction and makes you deportable doesn't mean you have good moral character according to the immigration service. Every arrest affects your good moral character. So you would need to speak to a lawyer even if the case was dismissed against you. Hold on one second. Let's try Tamika one last time. Tamika. 
Hello. Hi, Tamika. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'm kind of confused with something I'm doing. I'm filing for my husband, and he has two kids with him out there in Jamaica. Now, one of them is on the filing accompanying, and the other one is on it as to come at a, at a later date. Are you a However, resident or a citizen? I'm a resident. Okay, so what's the problem? However, I've already filed the financial and civil documents, and now we have decided that the other child who wasn't going to accompany we are going to have him a company as well. Fine. So just contact contact National Visa Center and let them know. I've already done that. I, I've already emailed them. They, they've already sent me. Fine. Um, so what's the problem? Go ahead. To, but my question is, I recently moved. I moved last week, Sunday, to a new address. So my husband and the first son who was to accompany him has my old address. That's all right. They can, that they, can, they, can, they can fix it at the interview. Don't worry about it. Oh, so I'm to go, when I'm doing this child... Put the um, new address, put the new address, DS correct. DS-260, put, put the it, new address, okay. correct. And, and secondly, because on my affidavit of support in the, in the, oh, for the, for the other two, that's already, that was already coming, I had um, persons coming too, persons you're sponsoring too. So now on this affidavit of support, I'm going to have somebody Great. else. Across. Correct. So for this one... I'm going to have to do another affidavit of support as well as the co as another co. -sponsor, you may, you may, right? they may need to bring a co-sponsor into the interview uh, at the interview because you know, you, there's more people to support. So um, hold on, one, one second, one, one second, one one second. You have another person to support now, okay? So when they right. go for their interview, they may add, your income may or may not be enough for the whole family. If it's not enough, right. they're going to ask for another affidavit of support. I've already done that. I have a yes, co-sponsor. Yes, but I, I understand I, that. And you have the co-sponsor for the other child that you have coming. But that co-sponsor right. needs to do affidavits of support for the husband and the first child who are, at, who are already ahead. And let them bring that to the interview just in case. Hold on. So you need help. One second. Hold on. You're going to need help. Hold on. One second. All right. Let's go to Fitz in Queens. Fitz. Yes. Fitz, how are you? Okay, we're going to take one more call, and then we got to get to Megan and USA Credit. Charles, what's wrong? Excuse me. I just wanted to ask something. Call, I can't okay. get a word in. I, I'm trying to get through calls here. Yeah, Charles. Good afternoon, Brad, how and good afternoon to your young, brilliant interlocutor and sagacious squeeze. What, my, 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 wait, wait, whoa, what, wow. what did you call him again? Let's uh, his, the young and brilliant, the brilliant, brilliant, young and sagacious inter interlocutor. Sagacious interlocutor. What does sagacious yes. mean? I don't even know what that means. Oh, well, someone who developed a brilliant, a smart, a youthful age and, uh, you know, who understands uh, uh -huh. various issues. Wow. Wow. And I'm just the guy who's going to answer the questions. Go ahead, Charles. Thank you very much. Squeeze is very happy. Thank you so much, sir. This is very happy. I'm from I'm from I'm from Africa uh -huh. or Liberia to be specific. Okay. And I do have a question for one of my friends. Okay. Uh, she came in this country legally on the uh, visiting visa. She was granted TPS when we had the Ebola crisis in Liberia. Mm -hmm. And uh, her TPS has expired. Mm -hmm. uh, so perhaps she is thinking as to what she has to do next. She has to figure out a way to become legal. I don't, I don't know the answer. You know, the question is, how does this person become legal after they had TPS and they're now out of status? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I would need to interview her and, and figure it out. I, I don't have... The, the step is to... to, to I, although I know you think Squeeze is brilliant, is actually making a point. <laughs> so hold on one second.